private to continue this conversation. Ready? Ready. Um, sorry about that. Um, thanks for calling back. Um, I was actually really surprised that you agreed to do this. We can stop any time. Just let me know. No lies. Informing the, the public, that's what you want, isn't it? I'm afraid you're going to have to trust me. <laughs> he was actually a good boy, Mike Allen. You'll understand if I don't have much trust in people. That's why I'm passionate about this story. My son was passionate. Not always a good thing. You know, I can't get my head around. The empty room. The sound of it. I do understand. People say that. It's just words. I know you find it hard to believe, but I am sincere. Yeah. I'm not going to trust as far as I can throw you. Then why are you here? Go ahead. side of the story across. Okay. You live alone? Me, my son and the dog. That was us. So. No, um, what I meant was, has there ever been a father on the scene? <laughs> oh, I get it. Scum family, single mum, delinquent child. Yeah, I didn't realise at the time he started to get agitated by him. Started to get agitated by everything. Look, he was a normal boy, okay? We are a normal family. Look, he played football on a Saturday morning. I love Man City, he was into Marvel. He had his mates. He was good at school, he wasn't going to be Stephen Hawking or anything. He was just he was a normal kid. That's why I'm here. Was he popular? He had friends, mainly online though. Do you have anyone supporting you? Yeah, my mother calls most days and laps up what you lot have been saying about my son. You have to take into account what he did. Seriously, do you think he's the only one? Why do they go over all this stuff at school? Because it's a problem. Why didn't anyone pick it up? That's the question you should be asking. He's been pulled up for bullying. My son never bullied anyone in his life. He was more likely to be on the end of that. But he was accused and that really got his back up. He thought it was unfair. That's the word I'd use. He was accused of calling this boy in his class a... Kike. He didn't mean it. Have you got kids? He was just, he was just looking for a rise. Really? And some Zionist stuff? Of course he was. It wasn't a word that I'd used. It wasn't a word that came into our house. We didn't think about why, why he'd used a word like that in that way. In fact, I had to look it up. Didn't that sound alarm bells? You know, it's hard to tell the difference between normal kids just playing up stuff. Plus, every parent has moments where they think they've created a monster. Moments where they just don't recognise them. It was funny. Nothing much changed for a bit. Um, and then he said, gays are a walking disease. Out of the blue. Over breakfast. <laughs> we were watching TV. He stopped me short. I asked him if that included his Uncle Mark. He just 
grinned at me. I couldn't tell if he was serious or not. He just smirked. I told him he was stupid and he said I was the stupid one. And when I got back, he was on his Xbox again. He couldn't talk. He was in the middle of a campaign playing with others. A bloke the police identified. One with a stupid name. Mine Camp 86. Didn't you want to find out who that was? Yeah, stupid name. I thought it was just kids being inappropriate. I told him so as well. He just grinned at me and said I didn't get it. I thought well, maybe he's right. Most of the cartoons we watch have inappropriate jokes in them nowadays. It's just how it is. And he settled down. Then my brother came to stay. They used to be such mates. And Mark used to take him to the park and kick a ball about with him. He looked forward to his visits. But this time he wouldn't come out of his room. Mark said he got it, or at least he thought he did. We'd had a drink, just snipped around the corner. I called up to Callum, and he didn't want to come. He always used to. When we got back, Mark's car, someone had slashed all of his tires. You think it was him? Callum? I didn't say that. I tried to sneak into his Xbox, see who he'd been talking to. Check them out. My camp 86. Fascist. 34. There were loads of YouTube, blogs, videos. Callum was poisoned. It wasn't his fault. Nevertheless, a young girl, Yasmin Hossein, died in that fire. He's not the only one. Does Callum believe in what he did? He's ten. He probably still believes in Father Christmas. <laughs> 